Okay, this here is a Royal Quiet Deluxe, and uh, it's in really nice condition. I think the platen might have even been replaced at some point because it's such a soft thud. This is by far the quietest deluxe I've ever had, and I've had a few of these, but um, this thing is really quiet when it types, and it's really nice. And um, cosmetic condition overall, really good except for a few blemishes down here, and uh, you'll see them in the photographs. But um, this is a 1947 model, and uh, I'll sh give you a type sample so you can see how it looks. And um, I'll show you afterwards. At the end of the video, I'll pull this out and I'll show you all the letters and numbers and you can see everything is aligned and this is a nice one. And then I'm going to show you all the numbers and the symbols. So this does have a pretty new ribbon. You should be good for a while. And you can see this thing has a really nice dark imprint. All the uppercase and lowercase are aligned with the numbers and the symbols. And you can see by my thumb, that very last character, it's actually not an exclamation. It's an apostrophe and then I backspace and put a period. These older machines didn't have an exclamation. Well, not all of them. But um, this is it, and uh, everything works. Has the magic margin right here, which I can show you how to use, but it's easier almost to just, you can open this up and move the margins manually. And uh, has single spacing, this lever. And if you pull it forward, that's double spacing. It does have tabs. Um, I think I've got them set now. So I think there's five, uh, and those are just uh, these little nubs right here. You can just slide them back and forth, and uh, good if you're actually going to write a script or something and you need to set like character, dialogue, action, things like that. It's pretty cool. But uh, this is really nice. Not quite as fast as some other models, but glass top keys and... Uh, you know, touch control right here. If you if you want like a lighter key touch, or if you want to have to press down a little more, ribbon selector to switch between uh, red and black. If you have a multicolored ribbon, I just use black, but you can get green, purple, blue, all kinds of stuff on Etsy. So uh, yeah, if you have any questions, let me know, guys.